हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम और वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल सो दिस इज़ द फोर्थ वीडियो ऑफ यूनिट टू ऑफ बिजनेस एनालिटिक्स फॉर सिक्स सेमेस्टर डेली यूनिवर्सिटी स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज़ अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वीडियो इन विच वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द टॉपिक ऑफ डेटा वैलिडेशन इट इज़ वेरी यूजफुल फॉर इवन मैनी एक्सपीरियंस पीपल यूज दिस डेटा वैलिडेशन टूल फॉर द एनालिसिस पर्पसेज so this is the fourth video as i talked about earlier also in we have done with the three videos first video was about data preparation planning second was about summarization of data we did summarization uh, sort and filter option and in third video and very recent video i talked about conditional formatting and other related tools like text to column removing the duplicates and other things now we'll talk about data validation data validation is something very important and very powerful tool for data analysis reporting and decision making also but the reliability of this activity activities really depend upon the accuracy and integrity of the data Data validation help the user to control the input to ensure the accuracy and consistency. While validating the data, specific criteria for accepting data in cells are set. This restricts the user from entering invalid data. Thus, validating data not only enhances the accuracy, reliability, and integrity, but also cuts the time in manually checking and correcting the data entries. As we talked about data validation in our earlier video as well like for example if i have to uh, make a form and uh, where i want the respondent to enter their phone numbers and of course phone numbers can't exceed 10 digits right can't exceed can't be more than 10 digit and it should be number format only right so in here in this cell i will apply data validation rule saying it should contain numbers not exceeding 10th not exceeding 10 right so if someone uh, you know enters a text by a mistake or you know intentionally then a text error message will ap appear that would be according to me only then that i would uh, want the user to know about so how we apply this data validation in this cell there are some steps given in excel we can do this first of all we have to select the cell for data validation in this that data validation is to apply like this cell cell say this is the cell name is uh, d4 okay so we have to select that cell and then in data tab click the data validation and open the data validation dialog box right here like this in data tab we go to data validation tool click on this arrow and this data validation will appear right in settings we have to first do something then after that that error alert will apply in data validation under the settings tab define the validation criteria like here we have to uh, we have the criteria of writing numbers not more than 10 right then allow select the data type like whole number decimal list data date text length anything we can here of course we have to write the whole number uh, for the purpose of phone numbers the last option is custom is used for the most complex criteria and can be used for the formula right specify the condition condition we can like condition we have applied in conditional formatting as well this condition can be applied here as well next is minimum maximum option between we can it is simple like you can follow the instructions show error alert after the invalid data entry this is the important one right this is the uh, error alert we have to set up show the error after the data is entered like uh, most of the people will add to warning warning title hoga where we can say this requires phone number say right then the person have to write the phone number only in that cell 
right after otherwise that this error message will pop up this is the style stop warning in home it is our choice then enter the title like i uh, said this and then error message uh, this must explain the error and suggest ways to connect correct it you must this requires phone number like you have to say uh, to the respondent that you have to write only the phone number here then identifying the outliers in data this is very repetition of the uh, words I have discussed the identification of outliers in in my earlier videos using the uh, box chart and other ways also so while analyzing and visualizing the interpretation of data outliers if present in the data impacts the accuracy reliability and usability of data therefore it is very important to identify minimize the outline in order to avoid the potential discrepancies that they might cause basically an outlier is the data point i call data outlier as you all know who are watching my videos from very start you might know that my i say the outlier a number out of the box right so it is a data point or a set of values that is significantly different from the average or the expected range in the first video we talked about an example where a sequence is from 1 to 10 and someone has written 100 then 100 is the outlier value right then the presence of outlier can give a detrimental results while forecasting Uh, certain crucial values for example as we all have done the business statistics uh, where we started about the mean value right uh, so for example in this data set we have to calculate the mean value hai na so it is of course 10 on 10 mean value but if we consider this outlier then the whole mean value will be shifted towards the 100 value while other are in the range of 1 to 10 thus this outlier impact the mean value as well this is very important part of this presence of outlier can uh, give the detrimental results while forecasting certain crucial values thus to ensure the accuracy of data we need to identify the outlier calculate their impact and minimize them to handle the outliers we have to follow the given steps number 1 is to review the data errors can creep into data while entering transferring data so review the data to ensure there are no typos or other error or create inaccuracies this can be done manually or by using the automated tools like we have done sort and filter option uh, conditional formatting blank to understand the blanks and other things we can review the data the second is to sort the data as we all uh, already seen how data can be sorted Uh, in our early video i've told, talked about sort and filter option third is to analyze the data values after sorting the value we have to identify the large data discrepancies and outliers to eliminate them such values can be straight away deleted or for a better option remove only the stat statistical anomalies next is to identify the data quartiles we have discussed about quartiles and percentiles in the Uh, you know topic of data summarization also so to calculate the outliers in the data calculate quartiles using the excel's automated quartile formula beginning with this this is the quartile formula you all know that what is quartile right in data set uh, distribute the data into four parts where we have three quartiles right in an empty cell after the left parenthesis specify the first and the last cell of the data means if we mention this quartile first parenthesis is this first bracket and here we have to mention our first data set and using a comma the quartile you want to define like if i have to want to define the quartile number 2 or the median value we can say it 2 so it will define the quartile value of Two in this data set. It means this, right? For example, formula like quartile A five to A fifty first quartile. Here one means first quartile. Here quartile this is third quartile, right? We'll find the values from this to this uh, that belongs to quartile one. That is the twenty fifth percentile, or the value which is below the twenty five percent of data points fall when arranged in the increasing order, right? Define the interquartile range. IQR is the interquartile range. It represents the expected average range of the data without any outlier value. Without any outlier value is very important. That's why we remove the outlier 
in the first very first step it is calculated by subtracting the first quartile from the third quartile like q3 minus q1 as we have done already in our business stats saying this is the interquartile range right so the cal so to calculate the upper and lower bounds defining the upper and lower bounds of the data allows identification that are highly expected value and the smaller than the lower bound calculate the data by multiplying i square by with this and adding it to third quartile the formula can be given as this Similarly, to find the lower bound, multiply the IQR by 1.5 and subtract it, right? First, uh, when we are calculating the upper band, we have were adding to, uh, adding to the 1.5 value. Now, we have to subtract it to find the lower bound. Formula can be given as this, right? So, now is the removing the uh, outliers. After defining the upper and the lower bounds of the data, remove uh, review the data to identify the values that are higher than the upper bound or lower than the lower bound. These values are statistical outliers. So, delete them for more accurate results and visualization reports. Okay. So, next topic is covariance. We will discuss in our uh, very next video. Thank you so much. If you have reached there, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.